Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Thursday, October 25th already. Okay, so I've entitled uh, the perspective today, What Can You See? What can you see? Hey, Tiana. Hey, Pat. Pat. And Ty, how are you? Thank you for all who are joining me on uh, both platforms. Celestial, I think that was. Okay, so what can you see? Hey, Ernestine, and my question becomes, or the why behind my question is, because if you cannot see before it actually manifests, before you can physically touch it and taste it and smell it and have it, if you cannot see and envision yourself with it, doing it, being it, it's, it's highly unlikely that it's going to happen. You have got to habit yourself to be able to see things with faith, see things with a hope, see things with a certainty before they get there. And I mean in every area of your life. People, okay, so you've heard visualization, and I'm not necessarily talking Eastern meditation and that kind of stuff because I don't know that. I don't know that, so I can't talk about what I don't know. However, I do know and have experienced the power of being able to see mentally before you can see anything physically in every... Hey, Cynthia, I hope you're feeling better, sweetheart. Before you are able to see anything physically, having the faith to see, having the, the, the hope that as a matter of fact, the word of God says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if you can see it, I mean, you can smell it, you can taste it, you can envision it, you can hear it, you can, you've got to be able to do that before you can ever physically have it. You have to habit yourself. Hey, Sister Roan, you must habit yourself to do that. You must habit yourself to speak about things before you actually get them. Girl, that sounds a little crazy. What you trying to say? Okay, I'm going to go back to the foundation of truth. The word of God says, let the weak say I'm strong. Let the poor say I am rich. So we've got to be able to envision and act as if things are already happening in every area of your life. Can you see yourself healthy and whole and at an optimal weight and an ideal um, state of health, getting off all these medicines, returning to doing the things you used to love to do but haven't been able to do for health? Can you see yourself healthier and running and enjoying life, not existing? enjoying life can you envision that okay because it's very very difficult to go after and run after and and pant after and desire and be hardcore for what you can't see for what you can't even imagine so can you imagine yourself in a healthier place can you imagine yourself financially where you hello just pseudo can you imagine yourself um, financially in a place where things are easier for you? Can you imagine yourself without the heavy weight, and that's exactly what it is, the burden of debt? Can you imagine yourself um, at the end of the month with some actual money left over? Can you imagine yourself not having to scrimp and save? Can you imagine yourself can living by faith thank you tiana hey eric can you can you envision that can you see sending your child to a summer camp can you see bringing a child over and you paying a tuition can you envision that can can you see that because it's going to be a little difficult to do it if you don't see it if you don't believe it if you can't even imagine it it's a little difficult it, even if everyone else can see it for you, until you believe it, what can you see? Spiritually, in our spiritual walk, can you imagine the day when you actually get up and enjoy reading the word? Where you can, can you imagine yourself believing? 
that what he says is true is true. Can you imagine acting as if because he said it, it's already done and you just have that much faith? Can you imagine yourself with all the changes, becoming the woman and the man that God designed you to be? Can you imagine that? Do you see the possibilities? Thank you, Mel. Where there's no vision, the people perish. Thank you, Eric. Okay, you've got to be able to envision, to imagine this stuff, or you die. There's nothing left. You fade away without at least some hope in every area of your life, your career. Let me, let me tell you what I just did the other day. There's this system where you're supposed to go in and update things and make sure all your information is correct and updated. And there was, a, and so I was going in to do that. And there, hello, Brazil. Um, and so there was a portion of the update that said, th that asked you for your job title. And naturally I put in what I currently do. And then I said, eh, stop, put the brakes on, slow your roll, back that thing up, delete, backspace, backspace. And I put in the position that I am going to have. It's not even a position yet, but I'm going, <laughs> it is going to be. And so even the amount of faith that it's, oh, well, that's crazy. That don't even exist yet. And these people don't know I want to do that. And okay, you can allow all that to roll and rumble in your head and nothing will change. Or if you can, like I did, envision myself in the position that I desire, having maximum impact in lives and careers. Yep, I typed it in there just as bold. Can you envision yourself there? Can you imagine it? Can you see yourself operating? Do you see yourself in the staff meeting? Do you see yourself holding them? Do you see yourself doing evaluations? Do you, can you envision it? What can you see in your relationships? That's the fifth area of, of, of the life that I break down. What can you, can you see the relationship with your spouse, with your children, with your coworkers? healthy and whole and joyful and laughing and loving, forgiving, compassionate and passionate and patient. Do you see this? Can you, can you imagine, just imagine out enjoying each other on vacations together without fighting, without argument, without strife on a consistent basis? Can you see the possibilities? Okay. Can you imagine that? because it is extremely difficult to do things that you've never seen, things that you've never imagined. Well, I'll start doing that once I get there. You won't get there if you cannot see it ahead of time. It's very difficult to do that. Oh, I'm a firecracker. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. I've been called that. Okay, room, let's hear it. Oh, oh, you're so sweet, Eric. I love you all. I do love you all. So, so listen, that, that's what I'm just saying. I want to, I am encouraging you to not just see what you can already see. That's already done. It's already here. That is what it is. Can you rehabit yourself? to begin to see the possibilities, to begin to imagine every aspect of your life where you want it to be. If I can see it, I can get to it. If I can see it, I can believe it. And I'm going to see it before I can see it. I'm going to have it before I can have it. I'm gonna walk in it. I'm going to operate in it. I'm going to act as if right now, right now, I'm not even looking around at you to see your face and ask why I'm looking crazy. I, mm -mm, why is she saying that? What in the world is going on with her? She does not have that. I have it before I have it. I can see it, smell it, taste it, do it before that comes into being. You got to get there. You got to get there. And so my challenge to you today is to take any one of those five areas and begin to see it, begin to smell it, begin to imagine it, begin to operate as if it's already your reality, okay? You don't start acting like the boss 
Thank you, Cynthia. It's faith. It's what it is. Look past what is in your sight and move to your vision. I believe it was Helen Keller who said the saddest thing, that the, one of the poorest things is for people to have uh, is not lacking sight. That's so sad. That's so bad. You know, I have messed this quote all up, but it was still Helen Keller who said it's not so sad that you don't have sight when you don't have vision. So, so I'm encouraging you to envision the new you, the better you, the best version of who you are, who you want to be, those relationships, your finances, your spiritual health, your career, your body. Start now. Okay, until next time, take real good care of yourselves.